Hey everybody, it's Ben, and behind me here is that uh, swing set that I uh, just recently bought off Craigslist, and uh, paid 200 bucks for that, um, which sounded like a good deal because these things new are kind of expensive, except you have to factor in the uh, labor of taking it down, packing it up, transporting it, and then putting it all back together, which was a little bit of work, but still, uh, if I had built this from scratch, just the cost of the slide, the swings, the material, and lag bolts uh, adds up really, really fast. Uh, but let's take a look at what I'm thinking. So I'll show you here. Um, this is my solar panel. That's uh, 48 volt, 405 watts by Helios, which is in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. And it's a little, it's about four foot four by six foot six. Um, so there's the panel. Hit pause if any of you nuts want to actually see the uh, details on this. Um, but what I did was I, I just mounted some aluminum C-channel to the back of it as a, a temporary mount, but um, it goes on there pretty well. There's some little mounting holes on the edge that those are, um, those are big enough to put some quarter 20 bolts through. So I got some machine screws here, and what I'll do is I'll, I think I'll replace those with quarter 20 stainless steel nuts and bolts. You can't really see the nut, but uh, yeah kind of back there but the thing is it's kind of hard to get at all of this um, if this was bolted down to the roof and then added the solar panel so I think what I'm gonna do is there's a little extra down at the bottom about an inch or so and that's enough to uh, don't look at the notes on my hand uh, that's enough to uh, put a hole through for a bolt and then I can put this whole thing right down onto the roof and uh, run uh, bolts through each of those three bars on the bottom. So let's take a look at the roof here. Um, as you can see, it's two roofs and they're uneven. So I threw two screws through a two by six pressure treated board that uh, was just scrap material, reused material laying around. And that's six feet long. That's, that's longer than what I need. Uh, the solar panel there is only uh, four foot four. Uh, so I'll have to cut that shorter. And the other thing is it's just a little bit too thick. It's uh, about four and a quarter inches uh, between those two different roof heights. Uh, let's go up and look a little closer. So up here on the roof, you can see it's really two roofs. You can even uh, look between the two. And what I did here is I, I measured those aluminum brackets on the solar panel. They're basically uh, 27 inches on center. So if I measure from there, middle of that over to here uh, 27 inches you can see there's a screw there and that's because there's a support that runs up to the ridge underneath this so basically I want right here to be the center of the solar panel then 27 inches over have that and that's going to support the whole right half end of the solar panel and then the other end is going to sit uh, right down here um, and I'll add some additional blocking under the roof to support it. Over there, that's the solar-powered power wheels. That's for my little girl to drive around in. And I don't have to plug it in because it's solar-powered. And down there is my uh, scrap iron patio table. So this is the, uh, the north side of the roof. And the thing is, the solar panel is actually going to stick past the ridge of the roof by a couple of inches. So um, I'm really not going to have any good way to bolt that... Uh, aluminum down to the roof so I was thinking what I would do is you can see how this 2x6 overshoots the roof I'm gonna do that with all the aluminum supports and then put a piece coming back this way laying flat on this side of the roof and it will come up and meet there so it'll be bolted to the roof it'll extend into the supports and then it'll have a cross bolt going into it so we'll have three points of attachment at the bottom on the south roof and three points of attachment uh, at the top on the north roof. So if you look at the these aluminum C-channel supports, this is three quarters inch. So I should be able to use some, uh, uh, maybe some angle aluminum or some square stock. And that's gonna come up from the north side of the roof and basically cross and then get bolted straight through here. And then that piece will be bolted onto that north roof. And then in terms of running the power, um, here's the two power cables coming off the solar panel. 
So I've got the two connectors for those to go to. These, because there's that split in the roof, um, I don't even have to drill a hole. I'll just run these through the split in the roof. And then I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to mount a junction box up under the roof up there so it's a nice solid thing where little kids can't stick their fingers or anything. Um, and then I'll run some plastic conduit. So, in fact, I have a piece right here. This is a PVC, and it's actually officially rated for above ground and underground, sunlight resistant, all that great stuff. But it's only like a buck and a half for 10 feet. And I think if I use a heat gun, I can heat it up and even bend it around some of these corners. So I can make it, you know, follow the ridge over here, kind of follow over here. And I was thinking, get to basically the corner post, bolt it, bolt it to the corner post, run it all the way down, dig a trench right here, and it's only like maybe six feet to the garage. And in fact, right down here is the electrical that runs from the house to the garage. So I thought I'd do something uh, very similar to this. And then also you can see here's the ground to the garage panel. So I think if I just run either a bare copper or a green color-coded wire, um, and connect it to that, and then the other end to the frame of the solar panel. Um, I think I'm covered on the ground as well. And I've got some 14 gauge wire, and this panel only puts out how many amps? Uh, the maximum amperage on this is 8.27, so 14 gauge should be plenty good for that. So I'm thinking I'll put a red, a black, and a green uh, 14 gauge wire through the tube. And then um, do a little watertight box out here, run it into the garage, and I should be good. So that's my thoughts for right now. Um, I've really never done any professional solar panel installation before, but figure this is good practice. You know, if I screw up and I put a hole in this roof, not so bad. If I put a hole in the roof of our house, my wife probably wouldn't be very happy with it. But I figure uh, Kids Playhouse here is a good place to experiment. So. Uh, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. See if this sounds reasonable to you. And uh, if so, I'm going to go ahead and get this thing mounted up.